thank you, gentlemen, very much. I uh, appreciate allowing the community to have our input on the courthouse. So let me introduce myself. I'm Pat Sullivan. I'm the CEO of Clientel, and actually we own the oldest building in downtown Mount Austin. Our building was built in the 1860s. Uh, it's been completely renovated, and last year, actually the year before last, we won the Historic Preservation Award for the state of Georgia, so we're very proud of that. I also want to take a moment and, and, and recognize the gentleman, and there's many people in here that have spent many, many years in that courthouse, and I know you have an emotional attachment to it as I have to my building, so I certainly appreciate and, and respect that as, as I go through my, my notes today that, that you guys are going to do the right thing, and it's certainly not our position but you're gonna make the ultimate decision. But I wanted to, I wanted to change gears a little bit and I actually wanted to, um, I kind of wanted to come from, from a different approach. If, if I was doing this is when I did clientele, there was three things that I looked at. And the first was the integrity of the building. Judge Ellery, you mentioned that. And it's very important that you keep the integrity of the building, whatever you put in there. Once that integrity of that building is lost, it's gone. You just might as well just call it anything and just have to have a pretty top on it. Okay. The second thing is respect. Whoever goes in that building has to respect it for what it is. Um, every day that I'm in my building, I show a tremendous amount of respect for that building, and I respect all the business people who came before me and did what they did. And if you ever have the opportunity to come through my building, I'll show it to you and how we didn't change certain things out of respect for the past. The third thing is, and again, which was just brought up, is the enhancement of the building. The building needs to be enhanced. We do need to take that building back to a certain period, I don't know what your thought process is on that, but you know, from the windows to the AC to other things in the building to bring it back to that historical perspective that it once was. Because as we move forward, it'll be more difficult for that to happen. So this is the time to make those changes now. So with those three things in mind, the fourth thing that falls out of those categories that I think this committee needs to probably watch very closely is resources, your money limited amount of resources for the building um, you, you know you, you don't want to have to rely too much on getting grants or loans or outside monies you would prefer to get someone in there that's going to help you to establish to be able to pay for that building to keep the coverage up to keep it moving forward um, and, I, and I think Paige in your opening statement you mentioned that, that there was a limited amount of funds two million dollars from the splat from the splash but that'll be gone just like that um, if, if, if any of you have ever been through any type of rehabilitation of any building, you, as you well know, it will take those funds right out of your pocket. So this is the direction I was heading. With all of what I just said in mind, I was leaning more towards a university coming in there. But let me take it a step further. I'm not talking about VSU. I'm talking about somebody like SCAD, Savannah College of Art and Design. Let me tell you how that plays into it. Think about the individual you're going to be putting in that building. If you're putting a, a somebody like an art and design studio in that building, first of all, I've got some um, statistics here as well. Uh, if you look at the top 20 um, graduate architectural schools in the country, of course, it starts off with Harvard, Columbia, Yale, and so forth. Number 20 on that is SCAD. If you look at the top 10 interior design graduate schools in the country, SCAD, number one. If you look at the top 10 interior design undergraduate schools, SCAD, number one. So as you can see, and in fact, they even, they even fall into the top 10 industrial design to schools. So the direction I'm going is, if you get somebody like a SCAD in this building, if you, can, if you can get them interested, I don't even know if they would be or not, I would work a deal where they're the ones that actually came in and did the design. That's what they do. Get it to them. Show them, say, look, this is where it was. Here's some old pictures. This is what it looked like. What would it take to take this building back to this? What could you guys design for us to get us back to this particular point? Then you may want to think about some share project with them. Say, you know what? If you do this and this and this for us, this is what we can do for you. Now, they're going to have to rent the building. You're not going to give it to them for free. Okay? So they're going to be paying something for that building. Now, it has a broad, almost like a spiderweb approach to this. I know that we have heard about bringing VSU down here, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but think about this. If you bring somebody down here from VSU, you're simply just placing somebody that was already here somewhere else. You didn't add anything new. You're just, all you're doing is moving them around. If you bring somebody in from outside, you do a couple of things. One is you're bringing in new professors, 
you're bringing in new graduates, you're introducing Mount Austin to the world, because guess where we're going to be? If you're able to get on somebody, with somebody like SCAD, they're going to put you on their websites. They're going to, they're going to introduce you to their graduates. With, with, with credentials like this, I think Mount Austin would be served very well to be under such a, such a category. Because what they're going to do is they're going to enhance us. And now, from a marketing standpoint, standpoint from Lowndes County, we can also say, you know what? Not only do we have BSU, not only do we have Moody, not only do we have this, not only, we also have a division of SCAD right here in our downtown. Their art and design school is right here. So I think it brings a lot of enhancements. But the main thing is, is the three things I talked about, integrity, respect, and enhancement. If, if I was going to lease or rent or however it's determined that you guys are going to do with the building, I would make sure that I got somebody in my building that I knew would love it for what it is, who better than an art and design school was going to take care of it and could help me with what I wanted to do to get my goals done. So that would be my suggestion. I certainly do. Again, I appreciate your time and I, and, you know, as I mentioned about my building, I'm very passionate about historic preservation. I think the courthouse is an absolute just gem sitting right here in the middle of our downtown. Whether I was in downtown or not, I would be at this meeting because that's how important I think everyone in this community should, should feel about this courthouse. To me, the downtown is the heart and soul of Mount Austin. And if we lose things like our courthouse and our downtown, we've lost something that we can never get back. So whatever the decision is, I certainly hope that as Judge Ellery had mentioned, they do take it back. It's restored. It's a show place. Uh, you just don't know what that could bring back to. I mean, they could even they could even make movies and use that. You never know. I mean, those are gone. And as, as as you mentioned, uh, Judge McLean, they're they're far and few between anymore. So I think we need to think long and hard on what is going in there. So if you do decide to move along those paths, and I can help in any way, whether it's visiting them, having them visit here, spend time in my building for meetings, whatever I can do to help, I certainly will. Thank you for your time. Mr. General Sauls, panel, we appreciate any questions by the committee. Questions? I know that SCAD has Mount Campus. Do they have any others other than Mount? I don't think so. I, I did see something on their website about Hong Kong. I don't know if they have something over in Hong Kong. But I don't know, but they don't they don't have anything over here in the South Central South Georgia area, of course, uh, uh, Mike, but, uh, and I don't know that they would be interested, but I think that uh, if it was presented correctly to them, that it could be a challenge for them and something they certainly could probably utilize. I, I don't know how much work has to be done in there, but if, I, I think if I had to have somebody looking at it and working on it, I'd, I'd probably like them working with maybe a local architect, architectural firm or something to actually do what they needed to do to enhance the building, take it back. That is one thing SCAD has from Valdosta. My daughter attended there for a while. They got some big checks for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they have the money then to put in that company. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pat.